My friends at the Priory delivered everything they had on Scarlet. I also called in Vorp, the Arcane Council's point person. He's collaborating with us remotely. We need your help sifting through the evidence. We have our own theories, but we could use another opinion. These recordings were found near Scarlet's lab in Lornar's Pass. You should listen to them first. These other items are all pieces of the puzzle. Examine each one and let us know how you think it fits. You're my lucky charm. You've seen me through my awakening, Mender Saramon. Thank you. But I'm awake now, so you can leave me alone. Synergetics is endlessly fascinating. It seeks to define the eternal alchemy. The other colleges work within that definition. The potential of golems interests me. Combining dynamics design with statics versatility makes just about anything possible. I like Teo. More importantly, I need to advance my theories quickly. And nobody's better at quick results than the inquest. Today will be monumental. With OMAD support, I shall finally see past this world and into the eternal alchemy. The moles get magic, flame gets gear, and I get the weaponry I need. Everybody wins, especially me. Lion's Arch needs softening up first, so we infiltrate its halls of power and neuter its defenses from the inside. The theme is humanity can withstand any test. It's like they're begging me to prove them wrong. It's laughable! <laughs> See? Air superiority wins wars, so build me a comparable fleet, or I'll kill you all and replace you with hollows. Once more, my esteemed snaky friend, you're doing this for obelisk shards. You want direct access to your profits, right? Then do as I say. Scarlet deceived each of her allies into thinking they'd gain something from working for her. Hmm. She'd make a great minister. Ever since I came out of Omad's machine, you've been taking credit for my ideas. They're mine, not yours. Let me be clear. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for me. Nobody tells me what to do. Not ever. It's not true. None of it. I don't have to listen to you. Get out of my head! I wonder if the voices in her head are real. What if what she saw in Omad's machine grabbed hold of her? Scarlet rejected the Pale Tree because she wanted independence. What if Omad's machine cost her that? Ironic that she rejected the Pale Tree to exert her independence, only to lose it to something else. I'll never forget how close we came to disaster. When I think about those spores spreading their toxins across Tyria, it boils my blood. The Nightmare Court and Crate do make a volatile combination. Scarlet pops some horrifying alchemy there. This sample is resistant to the antitoxin we used against the Nightmare Tower poison. Jory, we didn't stop her plan. We just showed her how to make a stronger poison that could wipe out an entire city.
If you examine the steam creature closely, you can identify similarities to Scarlet's clockwork machines in its design. It's like she's modified the Watch Knights with the same engineering. The Watch Knights and the Steam Creatures use common parts. That would explain how Scarlet gained control of the Watch Knights. Their obedience makes them perfect infantry units for assaulting a fortified location. It's so like Scarlet to ruin someone's big day. Poor Queen Jenna, celebrating ten years of rule only to have it marred by killer automatons. Is that Watch Knight piece safe, Marjorie? I hate having any of Scarlet's machines in the bar. Don't fret, Angel. Ever since Queen's Jubilee, it's been quiet as a corpse. I think our friend is on to something. Hmm, not bad. The clockwork horrors from the Jubilee must have been Scarlet's second draft. Scarlet got crafty. Instead of pairing up two splinter factions, she stole an entire fighting force, and then she upped the ante with that giant marionette. You don't need that kind of firepower unless you're going to attack something really big. Priory teams recovered this cooling rod from the Thaumanova reactor disaster. It's steeped in dragon magic. Scarlet and the Inquest turned a risky research experiment into a time bomb so they could study how it ticked. They also discovered new info about ley lines. If Scarlet is using that info to plan her next major attack, it's coming soon. This is Synergetic's headmaster Omad's isolation module. A Silvari named Kiara went in. Scarlet came out. I reverse engineered an image of Kiara's aura patterns before and after. The schism is pronounced and dramatic. Kiara encountered something that literally broke her mind, but the only things in there were things she brought. I surmise she was directly exposed to a part of her own psyche that had been carefully walled off, perhaps for her own protection. We'd need to do far more extensive study of the Savari dream before I could draw any more detailed conclusions. What I can conclude now is that she's preparing to strike. Mark my words, Scarlet's next attack is planned and ready. Scarlet converted part of the Nightmare Court Arbor into her own personal airship factory. She also tormented the Silvari firstborn, Kate. She formed this alliance in part to develop hybrid weapons with maximum destructive potential. Now she has an arsenal of advanced weapons and an air fleet to deliver them. No city is prepared to defend against an aerial attack. Not even Lion's Arch. It's been almost a year since the Molten Alliance attacked the Shiver Peaks. Dredge and Flame Legion together. Who'd have imagined it? Look closely at how they combine Dredge mechanical knowledge with the Flame Legion's fire magic. So Dredge Sonic technology can be used for probing underground. 
And Scarlet's been looking for ley lines with those probes. She's, She's after, after the, the ley, ley lines, lines underneath, underneath Lion's, Lion's Arch. Arch. <sighs> Dragon Bash was supposed to be festive, until Scarlet killed people with her flying pirates. Keel did an excellent job documenting the assassination of Counselor Theo Ashford during Dragon Bash. You should really return this case file before she notices you purloined it. Hmm. Scarlet plotted to kill someone on the Captain's Council to make room for her puppet. With Trin in place on the Council, she could have weakened the city's defenses from the inside. That plan backfired, but Trin escaped to the mists to prepare for something. I almost feel sorry for Scarlet after reading her journal. If only she didn't use Omad's machine, she might be a sane flower. Those are the ramblings of a crazy murderer. Make no mistake, though, she enjoys killing. She needs to be found and put down. Scared? What could possibly frighten someone like Scarlet? She saw something while hooked up to Omad's machine. Something that broke her. She's hearing voices in her head, but what are they telling her to do? Hmm, that's a piece of one of Scarlet's probes. We theorize that this agitated the jungle worms. That's a puzzler. Let's review the evidence. Kiara entered Omad's device, saw something terrifying, and emerged as Scarlet Briar. She came out insane, but there's a method to her madness. We know from Thalmanova that she's researching magical energy and ley lines. She's used Molten Alliance Magitech to locate ley lines. We know that there are ley lines in Lion's Arch, among other places. She's built her own personal army. Crate and Nightmare Court, Pirates and Inquest, Dredge and Flame Legion, and most of all, her clockwork horrors. She tricked her subordinates into doing her bidding with promises of power, resources, or other gains. She modified her poison to be resistant to our antitoxin. She could use it against an army, or a city. My Trin is preparing the Aether Blades in the Mists for a big attack. There's a Mists portal in Lion's Arch. Jory, Lion's Arch is her target. We have to warn Ellen. I'll warn her. I'll let you know when I hear back. Make your preparations. Everything has been building toward a single, devastating attack. May the gods show us mercy. Thank <laughs> you.